Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So 4th of July is right around the corner. And with those um, cookouts, you've got to have some sides. Us folk down south, we've got the sides. I'm going to show you how to make homemade smoky baked beans. Hang out with me and I'll show you how we put the southern roots on this dish. Now, let's stir the pot. For these southern smoky baked beans, you'll want to start with some navy beans. I have soaked three pounds of navy beans. I soaked mine in a brine the night before. So you'll want to soak them eight to um, probably eight to 12 hours before you want to cook them. And in my brine, I always put some salt and some baking powder. Now, let me tell you what that baking powder does. It causes you to have less music after you eat it. But it also causes the pectin on your bean to be softer so that you have a more creamy bean. You'll want to get a large stock pot, and I'm going to put about probably two tablespoons of olive oil in the bottom. Folks, I know that you may not make this many beans. I make them and freeze them so that I can pull them out for quick, easy meals that are homemade. Um, but you can make this with one pound, and in my recipe in the description, has the recipe for one pound. So you can double it or triple it like I did. Now we'll need to chop up our veggies. So we will start with our onion. You will add these onions to your stock pot. Next, we need our green pepper. You will add your green pepper to your pot. For these smoky southern baked beans, we'll be using a poblano. A poblano is a lot like a green pepper, except for it's slightly spicier and it brings some extra smoky flavor to your beans. You'll add your poblanos to your pot. And if you'll see the cut I have on this, uh, you'll see that it is a small rough chop. If you want yours smaller, by all means do it. If you like a chunkier, do that too. Lastly, we will be adding some garlic. Um, we will be adding probably about six cloves of this. So let me get this chopped up. Our garlic is chopped. And we're not going to um, put this in the pot yet. We're going to saute these vegetables until they're just getting soft. Remember, we're going to be cooking this with our beans for a couple hours, so they'll get plenty soft. They smell so good. Our veggies are getting soft. I'm going to make a little hole right here in the middle. This is where I'm going to put that garlic. We'll saute it till it's fragrant. And you know that smell that's going to be in this kitchen. We're going to mix all our veggies in. That garlic got a little brown on me. It's still going to be delicious. Now we will add our spices. I like to add my spices at the very beginning and maybe toast them just slightly before I start adding my beans. So I have smoked paprika. The measurements for this will be down in the description. I have brown mustard and I have smoked black pepper. We did call these smoky southern beans, right? So this, stir this together, let it toast just a little, and then we're going to start adding our liquid ingredients to it. Our spices have toasted a little bit on our veggies, and now we're going to be adding a little bit of hickory liquid smoke and Worcestershire sauce. You'll stir this around. We're going to now add our brown sugar. The recipe will call for like a quarter cup for a pound. Uh, you can go more or less depending on how sweet you like your beans. And then you cannot have southern baked beans without molasses. The best ingredient ever. I'm just letting that sugar dissolve a little bit. And then I am going to be adding our liquid. And lastly, we'll be adding our beans. My brown sugar has dissolved. Now I'm going to be adding my tomato sauce. 
Uh, you can use tomato sauce or you can use ketchup. If you do use ketchup, I'd say cut back a little bit on your brown sugar because your ketchup will have sugar in it. So pretty much in my recipe, you're going to combine all the ingredients except for the vinegar and the salt. Those will be added last. So when your beans are almost done, we'll come back and add those. It's looking like barbecue sauce, huh? Okay, so we'll call them Southern Barbecue Baked Beans. <laughs> now it's time to add these beans. Woo! I need another hand. Now, when you are cooking these, you will want to have liquid nearby. So either water or broth. Um, also, as I was mixing this up, and I, of course, I had to taste it to make sure that it was seasoned properly. Um, the seasoning on it is excellent. Tasted like a delicious barbecue sauce. But you can also add some bourbon um, to this if you want a little bit of a different flavor. And those bourbon baked beans are delicious as well. If you wanted to add the bourbon, you would have added it and cooked off a little bit of the alcohol before you added your beans in. So I'm just getting them coated right now. And then I will be adding uh, my broth. Did I say that these beans are very easy to be done vegetarian? Um, and I do mine vegetarian uh, more so than not, um, but I didn't have any of my vegetable broth today, so I'll be using chicken broth. But you would make the recipe just as I'm making it today, except for you'll use a vegetable broth. You'll add enough liquid to cover your beans. Also, you are going to bring these to a bowl and then let them simmer for about two hours. Make sure that you keep some broth or water near your pot um, so that you can add it as needed. I almost forgot about the bay leaves. So we will be adding, um, for this one, I'm adding a handful. So I've got about eight bay leaves here going in. We're going to put a top on this and let these babies cook. These Southern Smoky Baked Beans are delicious. Um, they will make an excellent side at your next barbecue or picnic. They go well whether you're serving chicken or hamburgers or hot dogs or ribs, or even if you're going to be doing a portobello burger, this is a perfect side. We do have other sides as well. If you'll check our um, channel, we have some Southern Amish potato salad that would make a perfect combination with these beans and a burger. So let's give it a taste test. Now it smells delicious. Mm. They are very good. Smoky, sweet, spicy. The bean itself is so tender. Delicious, guys. If you like this recipe, hit the like button. Um, hit subscribe and also hit the bell so that you'll get all of our recipes as they post. And until next time, stir the pot.